Three, two, one, let's go, bitch. exciting vlog because it is Eras tour day and we just have a lot of exciting stuff going on I'm in the best freaking mood good morning I'm drinking my coffee I'm just so happy welcome to my channel or welcome back I love you guys and I'm so happy you're here spend a few days with me this video is also exciting because it is sponsored by the one and only lululemon I'm gonna do a little try and haul and we're gonna talk through everything let's do it if you guys have been watching my vlogs for especially the last six months, but really forever, I've always been a Lululemon girl. I also have recently been on a bit of a fitness journey in the past, like I said, six months or so. And Lululemon has been a huge part of that. I'm trying to view fitness as more like a lifestyle. And to me, living in clothes that are comfortable, that are great for working out, but also fun. That blend has been like really great and I've found it with Lululemon. This is like a dream come true. I'm so excited about this. I have three outfits that I picked out from Lululemon that I'm going to show you guys today for summer. That's specifically the theme here. As always, everything will be linked down below. I'll also talk through my sizing and everything. I'm a fan of bright colors in the summer. I just feel like with a tan, without a tan, whatever. They just, it, it's the vibe. It's the summer of like saying yes to activities. I wanna be one of those people that, hey, you wanna play some pickleball? Yep, I'll be there. In my Lululemon, of course. This first outfit is, I think, probably my favorite. I love it. I left the tags on for you guys, but I think we can officially take them off because, you know, these are keepers. This is the Wonder Train Racerback tank. I love the Wonder Train line. I'm wearing a size 10 in the top. It has built-in like cups. I definitely feel supported enough to go out go for a walk maybe like like I said you know do some like lighter activities so this fun neon is in the color electric lemon and then the skirt I feel like it's so feminine so cute and perfect for all activities I love wearing skirts just like out and about running errands for the day because I feel like they're breezy but like I said still cute I'm wearing this in a size six and this is the court rival high-rise skirt. My god, I love this fit. Perfect for summer, truly. This is the next outfit. This is all a line. The aligned material is so buttery soft. If you've never felt it, do yourself a favor. Treat yourself. I love the leggings, the shorts, that's what I'm wearing right now, and then the aligned tank top. And this color is so cute. I love the pink. This is another one of those like just casual running errands fits that's kind of like where I would wear it to or to like a more like low impact workout like yoga or something. This is the iconic Align tank. Wearing this in a size 10, I usually wear a size 10 on top for Lululemon. And then these are the Align short six inches. I like the six inch length a lot. I will spin in them. I will do really everything in them. Like that's, that's my go-to length. I'll wear the four inch like lounging around the house and stuff, but the six inch I'll like wear out and about. As with everything Lululemon, you know, we've got like built-in pockets and stuff. They really just think through everything. I feel like it just like hugs you in all the right places. It's so comfortable. The tank top does have built-in cups. You can remove them. That's what we're looking like in the back. And if you know a line, you know, just the best. And this is just a staple like Brooke Michio spin outfit, which is literally what I'm going to do now. This is again that Wonder Train Racerback tank, which I love so, so much. If you don't have as big of a chest, I feel like you could get away with just wearing this, but I actually, will wear my Wonder Train bra, which is just like my fave. I'll change, I'm gonna change into this after. The tank is also so cute. The Wonder Train collection I feel like is perfect for like workouts. Like if you're doing a hit class, a spin class, that's what I would personally go for. And then these leggings are also the Wonder Train leggings, which have become my favorite leggings for spin. They are still like soft and comfortable similar to the Align, but they have a little bit more of like an athletic feel to them. They also have this, which I love. It's like a <laughs> string at the waist, so you can kind of make sure that they're like not gonna fall down, you know, like tighten them around the waist, which I really like. I wear a size six in the leggings, and once again, a 10 on top. As much as I love like the bright colors and everything, I do find myself often just going back to the basics with a simple 
like black or neutral look. And these leggings are in the 25 inch length. I have both the 28 and the 25 inch. 25 hits right at my ankle. 28, I have a little bit of like extra fabric at the end. So I like both for different reasons, but um, I'm wearing the 25 today. I just feel so strong and confident in an outfit like this. Like I really, it's amazing the confidence you feel when you put on a good workout outfit, just like good stuff. I feel really like ready to take on my class, you know? And then this is the Wonder Train Sports Bra. That's what, this is what I'm gonna wear to spin right now. So I will link everything below. What a dream come true, truly. Lululemon has been such a big part of my fitness journey and I just feel so honored to be working with them. So if you guys have any questions about any products, anything, please let me know. It's the summer of Lululemon. <laughs> I just actually do feel like athleisure is so much more like a summer thing. Uh, you wanna be in clothes that can kind of take you anywhere. So why not do it in Lululemon? Also my yoga mat and yoga towel, not that I need it for the spin class this morning, but those are both from Lululemon. Should I get it? Probably. This is the yoga mat that I use and I have this towel that I laid down on top of the yoga mat when I take uh, core power classes. And then I have the mat strap too. This has just been hanging out by my door. I know I'm a yoga mat girl, you know. Sorry about it. And this just easily washes. So I'll link uh, these all down below as well. I have Danielle coming to take a class with me today, which is exciting. We haven't taken a class together since workout, like a spin class, I guess together since I think it was like 2019. Maybe early 2020 when I lived in Boston, she came. I think that's what it was. So it's been a really long time. So I'm really excited to, oh, they're vacuuming. We did it, we did it. We How do you feel? It. I feel so good. Amazing. Like I actually started crying a few times during it because I was just An like, emotional experience for you. I'm so proud. We did it. done and now we're walking home what a great start to the day i am about to take the shower like full hair wash full shave everything so let's get to it listening to kenzie's podcast i need to figure out how i'm gonna do my hair tonight i think i might just dry it like with the air wrap i just put like my leave-in products in it now i'm going to Moisturize my whole body. I shaved my whole body. As you guys saw, I used those Chic Intuition razors. They're the best. Um, and you don't need shaving cream because it's like built in. Going to moisturize every square inch of my body. I did a little skincare prep. Then I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then we'll start getting ready. I think I'm gonna order some lunch too because I'm pretty hungry. I didn't really eat this morning. I had like a few bites of an apple. We're gonna get dinner there. That's the plan. The plan is that we're leaving Katie's apartment at around five. We hired a car service. Danielle, Katie, and I are splitting it just so that we don't have to worry about like calling an Uber or figuring out how to get back without like having a ride secured. We are like, let's, let's definitely get one secured. Shooting to get to the tour around 6.30. The openers then like, we know we're gonna miss like a little bit, I guess, of the openers because then that's like when we're gonna get merch, get food, get drinks, go to the bathroom, and then be in our seats, get, you know, all ready to go by eight. That's just the realistic timeline. I know some people are getting there like crazy early, but it's gonna be a long night even getting there at that time. I haven't been to like a true concert, I feel like in a minute. I go to like shows, I guess, all the time. More like DJ and, you know, stay. I guess those are concerts, but especially a stadium concert tour, I don't even know if I've ever been to one really. I've also never been to a Taylor Swift concert in general, so. I'm excited for a lot of reasons. I self-tanned yesterday, so I feel good. I just wanted to feel really, really confident in my outfit and having the workout done this morning feels so good. I'm so proud of Danielle. She did great. We are just doing great today in a great mood. All right, I'm back in this pink set because I just think it's so cute to get ready in. And I curled my hair with the air wrap. I'm keeping it super tight for now because we have a long night ahead and I'm gonna like brush it out and really do it like right before I leave. Also was watching the Vanderpump Rules uh, reunion. I feel like I watch Bravo shows like in and out, but I mean, it's so good right now. And Summer House is so good right now. So I'm keeping up with those two. Let me know if you guys are Bravo girlies. I feel like it's a, it's a lifestyle. Like you have to be like, I'm in, you know, to whatever show you watch. I guess you don't have to watch it all, but I feel like so many people, my mom and dad included, they watch every Bravo show. I think I'm going to do a get ready with me on TikTok live. Will be fun. I have all my hair stuff organized though. I think in my hair today, I'm going to use my blinger, which I showed you guys a few videos ago. You could use fun cartridges with it. And I got these pearls. I feel like it kind of goes with the vibe. Alternatively, I have stars and crystals 
or I just have hair tinsel. Lots of fun hair options, but I think since I curled my hair, I'm gonna do the blinger thing, but I'm gonna like wait till later, brush out my hair, and then I will add some curls. So I might do that even later. Like I might do that when I get to Katie's. So I'm gonna do my makeup now. It's really, really early, but we'll just, you know, make sure that it really is locked in. All right, I'm getting ready. Here we are on TikTok Live. It's so fun, there's a bunch of people here. Look, everybody's saying hi. Guys, this is so fun. I did pink eyeshadow. Hi vlog. You guys are all being so great. All right, okay. I'm having a little, not outfit drama, but I have to figure like a few things out. But I'm trying to show you guys, I did pink eyeshadow, but I kind of want to amp it up a little bit because I feel like it's already fading. It's from this Pat McGrath palette. So amp that up a little. Actually, my hair has some nice volume right now, which I'm not opposed to if I put the pearls in it now. And then I'll show you guys the full look at it. But I don't know, I kind of hate that the underneath part shows so much but it's really just like a sheer piece it's gorgeous but like i hate that you see this white body con that i had to pair with it so much i'm gonna look at my closet and see if i have any other like slip type of situation that could work but i don't think i do this is what we were working with the outfit didn't really change so much but this the dress is from dana foley the thing is it's a little sheer so i got this white like slip type of thing or just body con dress really from amazon i just didn't like the way that it looked on top i felt like it was like ruining the look of the dress so i decided to pair instead of having the body con dress go all the way from top to bottom i'm going to wear this lacy it's technically like a bralette but it really is like a bra because then that shows like in the back and everything versus the body con and then of the body con start like here down it's basically like from my stomach down so that it's like right there you know just because it is without that the dress is pretty short i i need to wear something so it's not like you know you need to wear something i think that will work i also got sent these boots from free people this week um i did pick them out i didn't think that they would get here in time honestly but they did they're from jeffrey campbell and they're just like cream colored cow cowboy boots this is risky because I haven't worn them yet, but I just like the look of them better than the other boots I was gonna wear. I need to make sure that they're gonna be comfortable basically is the point. But this is what the outfit's looking like right now with the boots. Yeah, like I feel like the tall boots does make sense because it's such a, such a short dress too that I would prefer to wear taller boots. And I think that they are nice. I put foot inserts in them. I got them from Dwayne Reed today, but I'm like not sure if it's gonna be enough. So quickly doing these pearls, but I really like the way that they're turning out. I was a little nervous about it, but I, I like them. I don't necessarily like the placement of that one, but we can fix that. They're kind of big. I'm not mad about it, but the cool thing is you can like kind of like re-stick them. They're sticky enough that they stay in your hair, but they don't like tangle your hair. I need to just fix this front piece with the air up. Press down and it's in. All right, I'm gonna do more when I get there, I think, but it looks kind of fun. I just. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm going to have them look at it and help me. We're going to go to Katie's now because that's where we're meeting up. And I have my big bag of, like, you know, the hair blinger. And this is my purse that I'm using this cool one. It's just from Amazon. And I'm going to switch to vlogging on my phone. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go, bitch. I'm so excited. This is my first time seeing Katie's new apartment. I have to put more pearls in, I decided. I brushed out my hair like a little bit. We'll figure it out. We're in Katie's gorgeous yeah. apartment and she put out a spread for us. I love both of the fits, ladies. We're really all different. Like, I feel like none of us, like, no, it's I like know. we have feather sequin and I'm then like, uh, like, like ruffles. Was Danielle was going to. I was gonna, but, okay, also I feel like now when I thought about it more, that dress would have been more midnight. Oh, is it Katie's dress? Yeah, it's Katie's Oh, midnight. oh, the sequin one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. stunning, but my legs are gonna be out. Yeah, the, the legs. And butt. And, and Katie's apartment's gorgeous. You can go to Katie's channel to see. It. Look, guys, Katie's using the blinger now. It looks so good. She, hers has little stars bling, on them. Bling. So pretty with the stars. And your outfit. You have the feeling of like stapling a stack of papers when you're done. Yes, that yes. Like, like, I'm done, ready to hand it in. And the Nadine dress. Nadine oh, you got a funky one. Love. Oh, okay, so I made love, but I remember when I made this one, I was out of O's, so it's a Q. You can, if you see Wait, when you look closely. I absolutely did not know. I know, you wouldn't have noticed. Love, it's subtle. Love um, it. Hair looks amazing on all parts. I will link the blinger down below. because you Link the blinger. So love the blinger. Yeah. Link the blinger. Link it. Let's go. Cool. Legends. Hello. Driving up. I literally feel like we're going to Disney. I know.
is absolute mayhem. Um, All right, it's the way that I didn't even drink yesterday, but I feel like I'm hungover. Holy shit, how does Taylor Swift do that again and again? And then she takes a few days off and then does it again, again, again. It is so impressive to me and just, wow, what a night. Oh my God, I like have the chills thinking about it because it was so freaking good. She absolutely crushed it and we got a really, really good show. Um, I feel very lucky because we had a lot of like surprises. She literally said to us, she was like, if you guys are good, like I'll give you a treat or whatever. And we, the crowd was so loud. I mean, it's impossible to know if they were that loud everywhere else, but it felt like everyone was just so rowdy in a good way. You know, like we were a very involved crowd. So I was at MetLife night one, which means that our secret, not secret songs, surprise songs were getaway car. And she brought on uh, Jack Antoff to do that with her, which was so great and then maroon i was really excited about maroon i definitely wanted that people were saying it should be in the set list i feel like it definitely should be it's wow and she released her version of karma with ice spice so she brought out ice spice for karma and she premiered her new music video of karma with ice spice it came out like at midnight but she showed it to us at like 10 30 or whatever and she did like a viewing of it it was really cute they like sat on the stage and watched and then she did nothing new with phoebe bridgers which i know she doesn't do that at every show uh so that was really cool her outfits were fabulous she's just such a good performer and i'll be thinking about that for a while i mean i feel like that was the best concert i've ever been to it really is one of those that like i feel like i'll just be thinking about you know i, I feel like i'll be you know 20 years from now I'll be like oh i went to taylor swift era's tour you know getting out of there was a absolute zoo i don't know if it's like this at every stadium it was like really just a nightmare but we made it out okay and uh we did hire like a car service driver situation which was really really nice if you can do that because we had like a car secured waiting for us i don't even know what the uber situation was or I don't know, I saw like a mad dash of people for the buses and stuff. It was like crazy, but such a good time and so great to be with Katie and Danielle. So 10 out of 10. I am just, like I said, I feel like hungover today. I don't know why, probably because it like really took me out, took it out of me. I was like, you know, on my feet. The boots ended up being like fine. Katie and Danielle took, we were all wearing the same shoes if you didn't see. They ended up taking off their shoes. At one point I was like, I could definitely take my shoes off, but I was like, I only have like 30 minutes left. I can do it. But I do want to try to make it to a workout class later. Maybe that will be my goal for the day. I won't like do other stuff, but I'll do that. And I also have to pack because I'm going to Canada tomorrow. Yeah, that's what's up. It's really just pack, maybe work out, and then that's it. I can't believe I'm going to Canada tomorrow. <laughs> <gasps> hope you guys are having a great day i just feel so lucky so blessed i know everyone's like y'all won so i feel really lucky to have been there and so like lucky we were talking about it just to be able to just get tickets at all you know i am enjoying this nice day because i decided i can't do nothing today this is pretty much doing nothing but it's at least outside you know so i'm enjoying the 73 degree weather guys i just found a pearl still in my hair from last night but they come out so easily these blatant the dazzlers literally everyone had that idea of uh doing the gems in your hair a lot of fun hairstyles uh last night this is the book i'm currently reading i don't know if i told you guys yet about 50 pages in not super deep but i am really liking it i like this author i read another one of her books that summer and i liked it like i've been back on reading for like three years now just enjoying this gorgeous gorgeous day i feel very grateful i have to start packing for my trip because i really like just did not do too much of that. I started like putting clothes aside, but yeah, I don't have any, I need to put together some like nighttime outfits. I'm only there through Tuesday. So it's, it's a really quick trip and I'm not going to be like really doing too much at night, especially on my own. Like I feel like it's going to be more daytime out and about exploring and then maybe like go to dinner and then, you know, go back to the hotel. I'm excited. I haven't been on a solo trip in a minute. So I'm going completely by myself. I don't even as of now have plans to like, you know, meet up with anybody. So Really, will just be me. Lululemon active set. I'm do I actually am planning on taking some sort of spin class. I'm bringing also a big suitcase because I can. I get a free checked bag with Delta and I definitely need to check a bag just due to the uh, like sizes of toiletries alone. I have this cutie dress that I wanna wear. How adorable. This cute set. These are both free people. I am gonna go to Core Power Yoga Sculpt now. Um, so I just put some gel in my hair, just wearing a line leggings, um, and I have my yoga mat and stuff. Um, okay, let's head out. I'm like not in the mood to like physically walk there, but I've, I'm excited to take the class and get all sweaty and have a good shower. and then a top. 
personal towel <laughs> water. I am back out on the balcony. It's just too nice right now to not be out here in this book. I'm hooked. I'm loving it. So I'm just enjoying this and I'm like sweating gross and stuff, but I figured I would just shower after. Cause the sun feels so good. Good morning guys. It's actually the next day right now. It's 6.07 AM. Last night I just decided to chill and get in bed and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I was so tired. I went to bed at like in the nine o'clock hour I was in bed, read, I got through a ton of this book, so I'm really liking it. I'm making a coffee right now. And I was like, I'm just gonna finish packing in the morning because I just was so dead last night. Last night, am I okay? So dead last night, so we're gonna pack today. How cute are these pajamas? A little, I think that it's like a monkey or like a lemur on it. <laughs> They're really cute. But I feel really good now that I got some rest. I feel like we could be productive this morning and pack. We're going to Canada today, woo! I actually think I'm doing a pretty good job. It's gonna be like 78 degrees every day. Same weather basically is here, which I'm really excited about. I'm just going for like comfortable outfits because I'm probably gonna be like out exploring the city and stuff. So t-shirts and pants mostly actually. It's kind of like when I went for comfy little dresses. This is cute, right? But the back is open on this one. So I had to bring like, it was like a lacy bralette because I have to wear a bra with this. I can skip a bra if it's like really supportive in the top. Like if it's tight, but if in this case, it's just like a loose fitting dress with no back. So something needs to be done. And I don't really like sticky bras that much because having a larger chest, I just feel like they fall down and like they don't actually stick, especially if I like I get one ounce of sweat going, like game over. I love this little set. I'm definitely gonna wear this. I feel like this could be a cute moment for like dinner, polo style top. And this is pretty much the most formal thing I'm bringing because I'm, I'm not planning to go anywhere that's like too, too fancy, especially by myself. I don't know if I've ever been to like a sit down dinner, like not sitting at like a bar alone. Definitely lunch, but maybe not dinner. I don't know, I'm definitely like comfortable with being alone, but I feel like being alone in public can be kind of awkward. So I'm definitely bringing like my books and stuff. It's just like a me thing. I feel like I have to, but I don't know if I'm at like a nice sit down dinner, am I gonna be like reading my book? I don't know. I haven't been on a solo trip in a really long time. So I'm really excited about it. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but I, like I said, I do plan on doing some shopping there for sure. And I think this is where I'm gonna end off the video because I want to start the next one and start the solo trip vlog. So stay on the lookout for that. Once again, thank you so much to Lululemon for sponsoring this video, literally a dream come true. And I just realized um, I'm going to Canada and I feel like they have really good stores there. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, anyways, I love you all so, so much and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.